previously on Divorce Court. Your Honor, his irresponsibleness, the gambling, has led our family into ruins. He's more concerned with running around with his little mistress. So my only focus today is figuring out how fast I can get these divorce papers signed. How could it go so wrong? We had a catering gig, and he gambles all the money away. So you couldn't do the event? Your Honor, it was so bad that we slept in the car overnight, panhandling, literally begging to come up with enough gas just to get back home. Mr. Brower? Your Honor. She won't talk to me with any respect. So when we got there, I did go out to try to clear my mind. Another time, I find new pictures that I took, by the way, from our honeymoon. I look closer, and he's sending them to other women on social media and the internet. You were sending sexually suggestive pictures to third parties. Correct, Your Honor. And it did not include your wife. Did it say anything about a threesome with the... It did not. That was a violation of your marriage relationship. And that's just the photos. The worst of it all, I come home from work one day, working hard, trying to go 50-50 with a husband, and I come home and I come around the corner and there's a woman in my kitchen cooking and she don't have no clothes on. I mean, Whoa! No, no, no clothes on at all. Just no the, no with way. the spatula, cooking a meal in my home. No. My home, no. my husband, no. broad daylight no when I'm supposed to be at work trying to help pay bills for a man <laughs> who can't because he's wow. irresponsible <laughs> and I'm making a big oh, deal out of it. Bomba, and I'm bomba, extra, bomba. so when I get ready to confront them about it, that I, I'm in the wrong, and I'm out of line, and I'm out of pocket, because I want to go off, so I have to go to another room to calm down, to give her time to leave, to seek, speak with him. And he tell me it's a, a friend or a relative, and she doesn't even look African-American, so she can't be family. She ain't no relative I ever seen before. And what relative or close friend would be naked, making a meal in somebody else's house and be that comfortable? Come Mrs. On. Brower. Come on. I'm over it. I'm over <laughs> all Mrs. of it. Mrs. Brower. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm beyond done with this man. My it's nose my is running. Best years of my I'm life. I'm sorry. All my, my nose is running. I, have given I can't, to this man I can't the even foolishness speak that right I go now. through with him. Mrs. Brower? Man. Diana, I got to call you by your first name. It's a, it's a it's a catch a charge type of moment. Like wait, he I'm doesn't sorry. understand. Like, Since he doesn't I just understand need I need disrespect. to understand what you just said to me. You came home... And she's in my kitchen cooking to with your my house. pots and pans and my stove and my kitchen with... The, and he just, like a, the king of the Did castle, you say laid she back, was watching naked TV, but, in your but house? But naked, cooking food wow. in the kitchen. You better than me, because I'm wearing orange today, because I'd have been wearing orange for the rest of and my life. Because I look good in orange, because I'd have been wearing a jumpsuit, because it would have been a dead chick he doesn't with a understand. spatula in her hand. He don't understand the blessings that was bestowed upon the both of them that day. The fact that the there's not two dead people with vegetable oil all over mm. them, Mr. Brower. Yes, Your Honor. There is no excuse. None. And the excuses he come up with are... Is, Please tell me you did not say to like her that stupid. that was a cousin. He did. I wasn't prepared to tell her the truth or for her to come home early, so... Excuse me, that's her house. There is no early coming to my house. In my house, I can come at 1 o'clock in the afternoon or 1 o'clock in the morning. It's my house. And what cannot happen is another chick be up in there. Ever. That right there is the single most disrespectful thing you could do. You are a man that has children. That's the only reason why he's standing here today. Somebody has to be around for the kids. I would have ended up in jail. Mr. Brown, what gone. in the world? What well, is this point, going on? Please. At that point, Your Honor, I wasn't sure about our marriage. Like, now, that, that may be sure the understatement the of the situation. It, and if you wasn't sure, then you should be out of it. But why would you bring somebody into your home? Where our children live Crazy. naked, with no clothes on in our kitchen, Crazy. where we have to eat as a family. Who does that? Ooh, Mr. Brown was something to was going... To be honest, Your Honor, yes. I had just felt so disrespected in my home. If I'm not going to be respected in this house, then... I shouldn't have respect for my wife. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying one way or another. But like you said, we've been together 15 long years. We've been married for 10 long years. What we're missing is the ownership, the leadership, the respect that a man should have in this house. And I just felt like if you don't want to give it to me, there's people out here who will. I'm not saying that's the right way, 
But was she going, another one will. Yes, clearly, clearly. How long ago did this happen, Ms. Brower? The kitchen incident was maybe January, and he claimed that was the end of them when it happened then. How much the truth that is, I don't know, because he's a liar. I don't Mr. Know Brower, I can tell you for certain the way to get respect from your wife... Is not to lie. ...is not to have Becky in her kitchen naked. That, that's definitely not the way to get respect. And a man does not demand respect. Thank a you. A man commands respect. And he commands the respect of his wife when he operates like a husband. And I'm gonna tell you right now, there is not one thing that this woman has said to me that said you have operated like a husband. Who is this woman? Do you know what? I'm gonna call her Becky, because that works for me. How long were you involved with this lady? Clearly, because you were involved. I was involved with her for about a year and a half. A long. year? Wow. Um, a whole year. You had a whole affair. You were in a whole relationship as a married man. You're in a whole relationship a year long. Um. Miss Brow, I think you have not had time to talk. Because you said to me when we walked in here, you had made mistakes and you were going to quote fight for your marriage. But the only way that even begins to start is with truth. Correct, Your Honor. Well, let me go ahead and come clean. I'll go ahead and give everything as it is, Your Honor, because, like I said, I did come here to save my marriage. I've done a lot of things wrong. We are still in contact with each other. Becky? Yes. So it didn't end in January when you got caught like you told me it did. The day the drama happened in the house was the last day you were in communication with her, and now all of a sudden you're still talking to her? Mrs. Brower? But you're here to save your marriage? Mrs. Brower, y'all were in a relationship for over a year, correct? Correct. I'm here now to save my marriage. Let me guess. You put yourself in a situation where this other woman has something on you, doesn't she? Correct. She would always force me to do things for her financially. All of this financial ruin, all this so-called gambling, that was a lie, wasn't it? Was it a real relationship? It wasn't a real relationship. A I felt like she was feeding a need that I had. And then once it escalated past that, I felt trapped. Um, what do you mean you felt trapped? Explain. As being a married man, you put yourself in a position where you can't say no in certain situations without, I'm here now to save my marriage. And I've been trying to do that since really we've been involved. So. Let me, let me guess, you? let me guess, let me guess. You put yourself in a situation where this other woman, Becky, that we're calling her, has something on you, doesn't she? Correct. As being a married man, um, it made her be able to control me more than I was comfortable with. Um, more than your wife? She would wife? always threaten me and things of this nature, forcing me to do things for her financially and things like that, so... Mr. Brower, all of this financial ruin all this so-called gambling? That was a lie, wasn't it? Yes, Your Honor. I knew it. Unfortunately, from the beginning, um, once we so got So you don't together, even have a gambling habit? I have paid for private school for her family members. I paid rent. I paid utilities. Her rent's $800 a month. I pay her utilities. Your Honor, can you her get the paper signed? Expensive you gifts. You got you and your kids that I, I birthed that belong to you, living in struggle, and you living, giving her a life of luxury, a side chick, because you can't tell her no. And you lie to me every day, and you watch me struggle and have to get up and go to work, and she living a life of luxury with my husband. I'm competing with a side chick for my own husband. I'm done. It's over. It's, there's nothing to save. You, you already committed and married and living your best life somewhere else. What is there to save? I'm not Clearly, married she's the better woman. I came here today to put everything on the table, let you know everything I've been doing. No more lies. Keep no your more table. Dishonesty. I, I, I can build my own. I've been buying your table. her expensive gifts. I fly her out to see me sometimes. Um, but we haven't been in contact for about the last month, I felt like... So you tricking and it's not serious? 
It means nothing. For a year, you've been tricking off, taking money out your home, our home, for a side chick, another woman, and it's not serious. Clearly, you must love her. Um, you more concerned about actually, her feelings than I, you are mine. I, I love you. You can tell me That's no, but you, you can't tell her no. How you love me and you taking care of a whole nother woman and you paying for private... Our kids go to public school, getting free lunch. And you paying for private school and vacations. I got to sit through them presentations so we can get one for cheap when we go somewhere. This why you always broke and ain't never got no money, because you taking care of another woman in her home, living a good life while we live in struggle, but you love me? You know what? Under normal circumstances, I bang the gavel and I say, stop, Mrs. Brower, or stop, plaintiff. I can't say that. Because this is a time, <laughs> Mr. Brower, where there is not a doggone thing that I can say to help you. Not one thing. Not one thing. Because no, on behalf is... of wives and spouses everywhere, it don't get more dog than this, than taking money out of your family's mouth. Both of y'all better be glad I didn't know none of this in January when she was in my kitchen. I know that because we wouldn't be here. We'd be in a whole nother type of court and I'd be fighting a whole nother type of battle right now. Mr. Brower, do you know what kind of jeopardy you put your family in? I understand now, Your Honor. Because you're selfish. Sir, what was that about? I really would love to know. You didn't have money to gamble. You were giving it to Becky. No. Were you even out gambling in that casinos at all? Or was those just dust, dust times you were out with her? I actually used the gambling to cover up, taking care of what Is I had. Is this somebody that you love? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. You paying for a family member's private school. How much does private school cost? It was $7.50 a month. That's about almost half our... You paying her rent? Correct. How much was the rent? $1,300 a month. So I'm at $2,000 a month right now. You paying utilities? Correct, Your Honor. How much was the utilities? Totaling about $500 a month. That's $2,500 a month. Trifling. Over Dude, something that's, that's not $30,000 that you got to come up with that you got to hide from your wife. That's where all that so-called gambling losses were. Correct. You didn't have money to gamble. You so were, were you giving even it at... to Becky. No, were I you was... even out gambling in that casinos at all, ever, at any point? Or was those just dust, dust times you were out with her, spending money Correct. that I... you were lying that you didn't have? I actually used the gambling to cover up, taking care of what Is I had Is this somebody that actually. you love? No. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you be what, for real, why let's would be you honest do this, today. Mr. Brower? I want. It's going to sound crazy. No, it's not. I, there's got to be something. because I love my wife. I'm a married man. Um, I got myself in a situation, and it's not. It was a whole year. That's not that a situation. You was a married man when you met her. When you got into it, the moment you spoke, no about it should have stopped there. It was. I'm you don't love your wife. wife. Love don't I'm live here with you at all. I'm going to break up your family. And I you did that. You did that. Both of y'all. Your family is done, I... and it's in shambles, and it's in ruin, because you're selfish. Mr. Mrs. Brower, look at me for a moment, because I need you to bring it down so that you can come back to you. Come back to yourself, OK? Stand in your dignity. Have you operated in integrity in your marriage as a married I've woman? never had an affair, and I ain't taking no money out of our home. This is what I want to tell you. So you can stand there feeling like you know that you did not violate your marriage that way. So stand there for a minute and collect yourself. Do you hear what I'm saying? I need you to stand in your space right this minute so that you feel confident in yourself. No matter what happens in the next few minutes, few days, few years, you don't have to take that burden on your shoulders, okay? 
That's what we need to get together, just me and you. Do you hear what I'm saying? You do not have to take that burden off. This is on Mr. Brower, but I heard something that I'd like you to hear. Thank you. I am not suggesting that you have to believe it, but I heard something that he said. He got caught in a situation with somebody who started to take advantage of the fact that he had violated his marriage. I have no sympathy for that. I'm not expecting you to have any sympathy. She did what I'm she was supposed to do. I'm not expecting you to forgive. I am not expecting you to do anything. But I am acknowledging that you, sir, put yourself in a trick bag with a tricky hoe. Sorry. He That's was exactly selfish what and he happened. got finessed. He got what he deserved. That's she what used happened. him and he probably fell in love she and that's what it was. He wasn't being taken advantage of. He got used. That's why I found somebody. This is exactly what I've been going through for 15 years. Nothing I say matters, no nothing. This is her stinking attitude. And as a man, how do you keep a man coming that's home what you're calling that? yourself now? This marriage was broken, and you never did the courtesy to, talk. to her to tell your wife that the marriage is broken. Instead, you put more suffering on your family. And for that, sir, that's why she's holding those papers. Nothing else to talk about. May I have the papers, please? Mm -hmm. You did your big one, and y'all can go live happily ever after riding off into the sunset on y'all's vacations in your private school. I wish y'all well. I wish you healing. Same for you, because you got to be broken to run around lying and cheating in the manner in which you do and come home and lie to somebody's face with a straight face and watch you and your children, me and your children, struggle knowing you had the money and you were just giving it to another woman and claiming it's because you got taken advantage of. You were stupid. My kids ain't struggling. It's just you. Mr. If Brower, I'm struggling, your children are struggling. Mr. Brower, you don't get to say that. You don't... Nope. See, this is the time, no matter what, you know, my girlfriend always says, eat the crow while it's hot. It goes down easier. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. The old people in the country say, take this ass whooping, because you deserve it. That's what the old people say. Because you deserve that. There's not one doggone thing that you're ever gonna say to me, to the jury, to the court staff, to the bailiff, to nobody. Your family, None of them. None of them are gonna ever be able to give you any excuse. I don't care what kind of woman she was or was not. The fact that you made a decision to have your wife sleep in a car <laughs> and struggle to take care of your children while you sent money to a tricky hoe, that is never gonna come back at you. You don't put my children second for some tricky hoes, kid. Serve these papers. Absolutely. Ms. Brower, am I allowed to serve the papers? Thank you. Mr. Brower, you've been served. Ms. Brower, your wife wants a divorce. Mrs. Brower is entitled to a divorce. Mrs. Brower, you may take those documents at the conclusion of court to a court of law where you all reside, and you may start the divorce proceedings. And you need to start your life over because you have not been in a marriage for some time. But guess what? It's time for you to take back you. Thank you. In a million years. Let me tell you, I wouldn't let my daughter do time I say, listen, let me put on this jumpsuit because right. I'm gonna kick his ass. So oh, we, right. we both <laughs> would be in orange. And looking at us, orange would be the new black. Oh, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> well, you know what? For the guys, don't get falling the trick back. You wanna fix your marriage? You better own up to it as soon as that happens. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Sending money out my house oh. to another chick? Oh, heck no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You gonna learn today. Made in Georgia.